This videotape will show you how to set up and use the tool post grinder on the lathe. A tool post grinder is an accessory mounted on the compound of a lathe and may be used in such operations as external and internal cylindrical grinding. The most common application for a tool post grinder is the grinding of lathe centers. After viewing this videotape, you should be able to write down the safety precautions to be observed in the machine shop and when using a tool post grinder on the lathe, and describe the setup procedure and operation of the tool post grinder on the lathe. Some of the general shop safety precautions to observe are, always wear safety glasses, remove jewelry, rings, and watch, and keep sleeves rolled up above the elbows. Some of the safety precautions to be observed when using a tool post grinder on the lathe are, Keep all guards in place when using the grinder. Wipe the oil off the ways of the lathe and cover the ways with a damp cloth. Properly mount the wheel on the tool post grinder. Always operate the tool post grinder within the maximum safe speed range of the grinding wheel being used. And be careful during the dressing of the grinding wheel not to gouge the wheel into the dresser. For this demonstration, we will be grinding a lathe center on the engine lathe. To grind a lathe center, the first operation is to remove the chuck from the lathe spindle. Next, mount the lathe center to be ground in the headstock spindle and set the machine to a slow spindle RPM. Swivel the compound to a 30 degree angle. This is the angle needed to grind a 60 degree included angle on the lathe center. During the grinding operation, hot sparks and grit are produced. To protect the ways of the lathe, cover them with a damp cloth, since the sparks may ignite a dry cloth. Mount the tool post grinder on the compound and adjust the center of the grinder to the center height of the spindle of the machine. Mount the grinding wheel on the grinder spindle and adjust the wheel guard. Mount the diamond dresser. Start the grinder and dress the wheel. Start the lathe with the spindle revolving in the reverse or clockwise direction. The grinding wheel is also rotating in a clockwise direction. Because of their respective rotation, the workpiece and the grinding wheel will be traveling in opposite directions at the point of contact. Using the carriage and cross feed, adjust the grinding wheel until you have a light stream of sparks shooting from the surface of the revolving center. Lock the carriage in position, and then using the compound, slowly feed the grinding wheel along the surface of the center. This is a check to make sure that the compound has been set at the proper angle. Bring the wheel back to the starting position and feed in one thousandth on the cross feed. Take another pass using the compound to move the grinding wheel along the surface of the center. Bring the grinding wheel back until it clears the point of the center and then unlock the carriage. Move the grinder out of the way and shut off the lathe. Check the included angle with a center gauge. For 60 degree centers, the center gauge should fit precisely to the center. If the angle is correct, bring the grinder back into contact with the center. Lock the carriage and continue to use the compound feed to make passes until the surface of the center has been ground to a perfectly round included angle of 60 degrees. The rate at which the compound is fed across the surface of the workpiece will greatly affect the surface finish. If the grinding wheel is fed too fast in the roughing operation, the wheel may load and cause burning on the center. A loaded grinding wheel must be redressed before it can properly take the finishing cuts on the lathe center.
A light pass of one quarter to one half thousandth is usually sufficient to give a fine finish. With this final pass, the lathe center is finished. A useful tip to remember when grinding lathe centers for work that must be precision turned between centers is, always grind the tailstock center first. The reason is that the headstock center can be left in the machine after grinding. This enables the headstock center to turn perfectly true for the workpiece. Other external grinding operations may be performed on the lathe using the tool post grinder. An example would be grinding of this lathe mandrel. Secure a drive plate on the spindle of the lathe. Place the lathe mandrel between centers and use a lathe dog to drive the mandrel. Lodge the dog tail against the back of the drive plate with a piece of rag and tie it in place. This is sometimes called tying the dog. Since there is very little pressure exerted on the mandrel during the grinding operation, the tying process prevents the dog's tail from chattering or dropping down from the drive plate. To grind the taper into the mandrel, use the offset tailstock method. You have a choice as to which end of the mandrel to make the small end, however, most operators would prefer to make the tailstock end of the mandrel the small end. The general taper on a lathe mandrel is six thousandths inch taper per foot. This can also be expressed as one half thousandth taper per inch. To measure the size of a mandrel, the diameter must be checked at specified distances from the end. These specifications are found in the machinery's handbook under the heading of lathe mandrels. After mounting the mandrel in the lathe between centers, adjust the speed of the spindle to a low RPM. Offset the tailstock to cut the desired taper. With the face of the grinding wheel set parallel to the axis of the mandrel, dress the wheel of the tool post grinder. Turn on the lathe with the spindle rotating in the reverse direction. Use the cross feed to bring the grinding wheel in contact with a small end of the mandrel. With the carriage feed set at a low feed rate, engage the feed and proceed to grind an area on the mandrel about one and one half to three inches in length. Use a scale and caliper to mark off a series of one inch intervals on the mandrel. Shut off the machine and check the taper being cut. If the measurements show a taper of one half thousandth per inch, proceed with the grinding operation along the full length of the mandrel. If they do not, then make the appropriate readjustment of the tailstock, clean up the mandrel again, remark, and recheck the taper. Check the mandrel diameter for size at the distance from the end given in the machinery's handbook. This dimension ensures that a sufficient length of the mandrel can be inserted into a part by hand before the part is pressed onto it. Another use of the tool pulse grinder is for internal grinding operations. These are similar to boring operations except that a quill is placed on the tool post grinder which holds the internal grinding wheel. The workpiece is normally held in a chuck rather than between centers. After securing the work in a chuck, the compound is then set in the straight position for straight grinding or at an angle for angular grinding of a hole. The same principle of having the workpiece and the grinding wheel rotating in opposite directions at the point of contact applies to internal grinding. However, the direction of the spindle rotation will depend on whether the grinding is occurring on the front side or the back side of the hole. Extra precaution needs to be exercised during internal grinding since the grinding wheel is unguarded when it is out of the workpiece.
internal grinding may be just as precise as external grinding, depending on the method used to measure the internal diameter of the hole. In review, you have seen that the guard for the tool post grinder should be kept in place at all times. That the tool post grinder is most frequently used for grinding lathe centers. That for most efficient grinding, the rotation of the workpiece and the grinding wheel should be in opposite directions at the point of contact. And that the tool post grinder can produce very precise results for both external and internal grinding. Tool post grinding is a very useful skill for the machinist. It allows the operator to perform internal and external grinding operations on the lathe.